It's some theory time. We're going to come up with some things, as you saw by this thumbnail, about the season five of Star Trek Discovery. And, of course, I am joined with Jason Roy Gaxton. He he thinks it's the butt bugs. <laughs> the butt bugs are behind everything. The butt bugs are always behind everything. Like, literally behind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. That's right. I'm Joe Dove, and but don't we're worry, home. they'll get it in the end. <laughs> indeed. Um, indeed, yes, indeed. We've got one theory that I think um, is going to kick off this conversation this week. It's going to be a brief one, but that is from our good buddy VHS Chase, who can't join us today because he's at work. His theory is books is not going to make it through the end of this series. What do you think? <laughs> I I'm going to say again, um, mm -hmm. they did not know that they weren't getting a sixth season whenever they finished mm. filming this season. And so I think everybody's going to make it through. OK, I think everybody's going to mm. live. I don't think that a single character will die. I think that everybody will be fine. No people's going to die at all. Like You don't think no, anything, no. Like, is the people going to die? No. No, high stakes. Like. I don't believe a single person is going to die. No, it's wow. not going to happen. All right. And you can well, you're free fair. to disagree with me if you want to. You can be wrong. I just don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> you can be wrong about this whole situation, but I know I can see somebody sacrificing themselves for the greater good for sure. No sacrifice, no victory sometimes. So, <clears throat> but I, I don't know if books if, is going to be the one. If they, they had known that this was going to be the last season. I would say, yeah, but no, they didn't know. Oh, okay. They did not okay. know. So I think they were, I think they left the cast intact. You don't think they like purposely killed somebody off to bring them back next season. And then was like, oh, there's going to be no next season. <laughs> well, you did. Well, all I can say is if you are that character, it sucks to be you. Now, the reason why we're continuing, yeah, we're not getting because... a Colbert situation. <laughs> oh, no Colbert for you. And not Stephen Colbert, Dr. Colbert. Um, no, we're well, well, the reason the why doc, the one the, yeah ripped Colbert. We're not the reason why we're doing this is because we actually stumbled on a, a correct a right estimation. We guessed it right by mistake because last time we did this video, you corrected me because I thought the Iconians was episode was the one where uh, they went looking for they had all the different species and they went looking for they had the Klingons and the Romulans and. Cardassians, and they were looking for this treasure, which was the key to life. Right, the chase. Chase, yeah. That's and this actually connected to that, and yeah, I chase. was right by mistake. <laughs> so I really enjoyed that, and I figured, well, you know, you know like, even a wrong clock is right twice a day. Yeah, I uh, stopped clock, but that's fine. Um, Whatever. And, and that's why we're going to continue this, because it was a lot of fun chatting with you, as always, and then um, course, our yeah. buddy Jace gave us a really dope uh, thumbnail so i was like hey let's do it let's keep this rolling 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 so uh one of the reasons why i don't think book i you know i'm, I'm curious to the future of books because books might be on starfleet academy i think because <clears throat> i think that's a character that you could you know he could be trained in the ways of a jedi now uh trained in the ways of starfleet learn that he's you know one of the last of his own species because his species got wiped out by alien yeah, the DMA. So I think the there's a bugs. possibility. <laughs> Not the butt bugs, the DMA, the giant. Jeez, those would be rough butt bugs. <laughs> the most rough butt bug ever. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But one of the other things that, uh, so, you know, he, he's the last of his kind. So I think they would, they would pretty much want to keep him around and explore his universe and it, it seems to be a connection with him and the big bads in this episode uh last episode excuse me and um the next episode coming up there seems to be unraveling of the big mystery box so i think that we're going to find out a lot about his connection with the bad guys with elias uh who's who his alien name is there was mott and Mm -hmm. Start with a K, I think. Mott and Kolf. They said it a lot. It sounded like a law firm. Welcome <laughs> to the law firm of Mott and Kolf. Mott and Kolf. Have you been have you been wrongfully displaced by a DMA? Do you have a nasty <laughs> case of butt bugs? You may be entitled to financial <laughs> compensation. So you know yeah, you get yeah. some, you get some bad tuna. You eat it. Next mm. thing you know, butt bugs. 
butt bugs. That's how they spread. That's you know, horrible. It's like, yep. <laughs> yep. I know you, just... you would think it was another way, but no, it's just bad tuna. Yeah. Bad well, tuna, by bad deli meat. Yeah. You know, things like that. Things like that. I think that was an episode of <clears throat> House, as a matter of fact. Well, one oh, of I'm the sure other it must have been. Yeah. It's never lupus. It's always butt bugs. <laughs> it's never, yeah, yeah. One of the other big mysteries was uh there was some kind of <clears throat> looks like some kind of temporal displacement. And it looks like the old Enterprise came a barreling through. It did. Yeah. So we I, I posed the question on the old internets, uh, namely Twitter, because I'm dead naming it, right? Is that what we're doing? That's the only time you can dead name something and it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I took it to the old Twitters and everybody jumped in, including Sean Farrick. And most people consistently said that they believe that it is the ISS Enterprise. And we're going to see um, a mirror universe version of perhaps Captain Pike. And some even said perhaps Captain Lorca. So I oppose to you. Is Do you think that's what that is? Or is it something else? Didn't we already meet the mirror universe version of Captain Lorca, though? The the, the, the mirror. Oh, so excuse me. It would be Prime Lorca. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Prime Lorca, maybe that that would be kind of a surprise. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I saw this image in the preview, the season preview, and right. it just instantaneously up. grabbed my attention because one, Enterprise is just a gorgeous ship. Yeah. And I'm just instantly drawn to it. Two, what WTF is going on here? Why is that here? Mm -hmm. So I got to thinking, I got to noodling. There's oh. the reason why we think that it is alternate universe. I'm sorry, mirror universe is that in mm -hmm. some of the commercials and stills, you can see the Terran Empire logo in the background behind um, um, Elias. I can't remember his character's name. Um, and so everybody's like, well, what? Maak, yes. Mm -hmm. Mock and yeah. Mott. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> still yeah. sounds like still sounds like a law firm, but you know. <laughs> Have Go ahead. Were, were you did you lose your job because you got a transporter clone? <laughs> you too may be entitled for <clears throat> compensation. compensation. Did you get a nasty case of butt bugs from spending a weekend with Commander Riker? <laughs> you too <laughs> may be entitled oh, to Riker. <clears throat> Riker's giving out butt bugs. So um He's given out lots of things. He's got lots of little friends that he brings to the party, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They just ran out of, they ran out, they discovered new ones and they just called them Riker 1, Riker 2, Riker 3. Mm. Yeah, so um, anyway, getting back to uh, that that Connie that we saw, uh, I don't think it's the Enterprise. I think Ooh. it's the Defiant. Oh my God, I was going to say the same thing. Look at that. Yeah. Amazing. Because that would, that would bring us right back around to season one, because if you don't remember, whenever the Defiant went back in time, uh, it w well, everybody thought it disappeared from the original series. It actually ended up in the past in an alternate universe in an episode of Enterprise. Right. Where it was stolen by um, uh, Archer and all of his crew and eventually went and helped overthrow the Federation and set up the house of Sato, which right. eventually led us to um, captain or uh, the evil captain Philippa Giorgio, evil, good captain Philippa Giorgio. Yeah. Emperor. Georgia. Um, and uh, that is what the entire alternate universe mirror universe Federation is built on is the ship coming back in time. And the, uh, the, the batter guys using it to take over the Federation. So I'm thinking, what if there was another stop on its journey? Because we know it went through time. We know it jumped universes. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is what discovery has to do to basically ensure that the mirror universe continues and that they have their Philippa Giorgio. I'm going to posit that the episode that we see this alternate ship in is going to be very much akin to yesterday's enterprise. Oh, where wow. we stuff. start out in an alternate universe discoveries there radically altered. Who knows? It may be the universe from Calypso. Oh, they where, where discovery is, uh, has been adrift for a thousand years and 
Zora's the only one on board. Maybe Zora's assembled a new crew and they see the ship come through and Zora's like, oh, hey, you know what? I think we're supposed to send this ship on its way. Ooh. It is I a like possibility. It, it is a it's possibility. And That's I'm sure thing. just like all of my butt bug theories, it's going to be 100% true. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I tell you what, I'm excited to dive into this this Friday and get all caught up on what's happening in the world of discovery. I'm hoping that we get the, a, a, a big picture of this before the end of the series, because we got uh, basically two months of, of discovery because of the way they, they timed it. So mm -hmm. it'll be a lot of fun. It'll end on May 31st when you are hanging out with yes. myself and yes. VHS Jace in Trek Long Island. May 31st through June 2nd. We're going to be live Just in person. after my birthday, by the way. And so, it's uh, his birthday. So come bring my, us a gift. My Amazon gift list is on uh, my bio page. If you guys oh. would like to get me a little something, something. Just You can also buy some of our wonderful merch and then uh, give it to him for his birthday. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So there are a lot of cool things happening in this season. There's so much to unpack. I think, oh, you got the kitty. Hello. It's Battle Cat. She's she's being a pain. She wanted to be picked up. Now she's acting like it's the worst thing in the world. Say hi, hi Battle Cat. Meow. She's purring right now. She's very Aww. happy, but she's she's giving us that glare. Mm, I'm side eyeing you. Um, the, yeah, there's a lot of things that'll be coming out a lot of things to discuss so we're going to have so much to talk about so be sure to join us next week for more star trek discovery theories what could it be the iss enterprise and the defiant as jason said or it was that more grudge more grudge she wants more <laughs> grudge yes she wants more grudge i do too grudge is a beautiful cat um it could be uh not the most beautiful cat she says watch yourself <laughs> stay in your lane human um this could be any slew of ships imagine if it's the enterprise c well we do have rachel garrett coming up in the section 31 yeah, movie yeah i wonder with if Philip and George yeah I, I don't think it's the enterprise c though it's pretty no. obviously a connie so yeah yeah we will see we, we will, will see. see yeah so be sure to join us friday live 9 p.m eastern standard time it's gonna be a lot of fun we're gonna have a lot of fun talking about it deep diving into it if you will it'll be the two jasons and the joe the wonderful co-hosts of the captain's quadrant and you can see live on trek long island with so many amazing authors actors stunt folks and podcasters and singers be sure to get oh. your tickets at tech trek long island.com they are on sale you can get your photo ops and uh, you can just kind of hang out with us. There's going to be so many stars, so many podcasters. We've got stunt people. It's going to be dope. You're not going to want to miss it. And they're singers. Yes. And I'm very good at it. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, it's amazing. All right, guys. Till next week and till Friday. <laughs>